up everyone, it's Dave, and we're back for our next reading of the New Testament. Um, I wanted to do it outside, we'll see how it goes, I may have to stop. Um, I've got a neighbor who, uh, I don't know how to put it politely, he's got this car that sounds like uh, it's hooked up to a tin can and he likes to rev the motor and do whatever it is that he's doing to it, but um, anyways. <laughs> It's very annoying, but hey, it's his hobby and that's what he likes to do, so can't hate him for it. Um, Alright, so we're in the book of Hebrews, for those who've been following along, and we're in chapter 9 today. We have a total of 28 verses. Um, hopefully we can get through them before they come back. <laughs> we're going to talk about the earthly sanctuary, limitations of the earthly service, heavenly sanctuary, the mediator's death necessary, and greatness of Christ's sacrifice. So 28 verses and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 topics. I think this will be one of the longest ones that we've had so far <clears throat> in the book of Hebrews. So um, remember, if you don't have a Bible, you can go to Bible.com and read for free. Um, you can also download the Uversion app and have that on any Android or iOS device. Um, also, hopefully, my citronella candle that I have here will keep the mosquitoes off of me because they're pretty big here in Texas. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Then, indeed, even the first covenant had ordinances of divine service in the earthly sanctuary, for a tabernacle was prepared, the first part in which was the lampstand, the table, and the showbread, which is called the sanctuary, and behind the second veil, the part of the tabernacle, which is called the holiest of all, which had the golden censer and the Ark of the Covenant overlaid on all sides with gold, in which were the golden pot that had the manna, Aaron's rod that budded, and the tablets of the covenant, and above it were the cherubim of glory overshadowing the mercy seat. Of these things we cannot speak now. We cannot now speak in detail. Now when these things had been thus prepared, the priest always went into the first part of the tabernacle, performing the services. But into the second part of the high priest went alone once a year, not without blood, which he offered for himself and for the people's sins committed in ignorance. The Holy Spirit indicating this, that the way into the holiest of all was not yet made manifest while the first tabernacle was still standing. It was symbolic for the present time in which both gifts and sacrifices are offered, which cannot make him who performed the service perfect in regard to the conscience, concerned only with foods and drinks, various washings, and, f and fleshly ordinances imposed until the time of reformation. But, but Christ came as high priest of the good things to come, with the greater and more perfect tabernacle not made with hands, that is, not of this creation. Not with the blood of goats and calves, but with his own blood, he entered the most holy place once for all, having obtained eternal redemption. For if the blood of bulls and goats and the ashes of a heifer sprinkled, sprinkling the unclean sanctifies for the purifying of the flesh, how much more shall the blood of Christ, who is through eternal spirit, offered himself without spot to, to God, cleanse your conscience from dead works to serve the living God? And for this reason he is the mediator of the new covenant by means of death, for the redemption of the transgression under the first covenant, that those who are called may receive the promise of the eternal inheritance. For where there is a testament, there must also of necessity be the death of the test testator. For a testament is in force after men are dead, since it has no power at all while the testator, testator lives. Therefore, not even the first covenant was dedicated without blood. For when Moses had spoken every precept to all the people according to the law, he took the blood of calves and goats with water, scarlet, wool, and hyssop, and sprinkled both the book itself and all of the people, saying, This is the blood of the covenant which God has commanded you. Then likewise he sprinkled with blood both the tabernacle and all the vessels of the ministry. And according to the law, almost all things were purified with blood. And without shedding of blood, there is no remission. 
Therefore it was necessary that the copies of these things in the heavens should be purified with these, but the heavenly things themselves with better sacrifices than these. For Christ has not entered the holy places made with hands, which are copies of the true, but into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of God for us, not that he should offer himself often, as the high priest enters the most holy place every year with blood of another. He then would have had to suffer once he then would have had to suffer once since the foundation of the world, but now once at the end of ages. He has appeared to put away sin by the sacrifice of himself, and that is appointed appointed for men to die once, but after this judgment. So Christ was offered once to bear the sins of many to those who eagerly wait for him. He will appear a second time apart from sin for salvation. All right, that concludes chapter 9 of the book of Hebrews. And this citronella candle is not helping at all. And these mosquitoes are eating me up. So thanks so much for watching. Um, we finished. We actually got the finish. So um, thank you. I hope you guys have a blessed Monday. hope it's been a great day for you guys. Um, if not, remember, tomorrow's another day. Make sure you spend some time with God. Um, getting his, getting in the, in the Word. Um, even if it's, you know, hopefully you get in the more, you know, get into the word more than, than just when you listen with me. But if that's, if that's all that you can do, then um, thank you so much for spending your time with me for these roughly seven minutes. So from Central Texas, thank you for everything y'all do. God bless. When life keeps falling and wonder where he He's right there to guide you, unseen you're not alone.